Today I'm going to be using stamps and gadgets and leaves to image a pronto plate. On my styrofoam tray I have a little square of craft felt and I just poured onto it a mixture made with Pledge Floor Care and a little bit of India ink. The ink is really just there so that you can see what you're doing because the floor wax is clear. And I actually added a little bit of water. I'm going to start with a leaf because of all the things that I'm using, they're sort of the trickiest. So I put the leaf on my little homemade ink pad. I'm dabbing some of the extra ink off on the table. And then I'm actually going to lie the leaf with the inked side facing up. It's really hard to, for me, to place the leaf onto the pronto plate. But if I put it on the table first, and then I'm going to bring my pronto plate over and place it down and rub it where I want the leaf print to end up in my image. I'm trying really hard not to get any stray fingerprints anywhere on the plate because if I do, they're gonna become part of my image. So now that I have the hard part done, I'm just gonna have a little bit of fun. Um, I noticed that my ink is a little thin. I might have used too much water, and so the stamps have been working better if I blot them on the craft paper that's covering my table first. I'm using little bits of Legos. I've got some corrugated cardboard, some rubber stamps. Anything that you can dip into the ink, you can use to stamp an image on your plate. So I've started to build this little garden, and of course I can't have a garden without a bird. So again, I noticed that the first stamp usually has too much ink, but the second one seems to come out just right. And now my image is ready to run through the press. I might take a hair dryer and just sort of dry it up for about five minutes before I'm ready to get it wet and ink it up. <laughs> 